We move on to our second topic now about sanitation work in China. Here's the question. What's the life of sanitation workers like in Chinese cities? Sanitation workers have it among the worst in Chinese cities, but not many knew exactly how difficult their lives were until a recent post brought it to light. Earlier this month in the town of Zhengcheng in Guangdong province, over 50 sanitation workers protested at the town square against the cancellation of the year-end bonuses. They received high publicity from Chinese media, with a series of pictures of workers holding up their income slips showing that they earned a little more than $165 a month, where the average in the province was $790. While the hard life of these workers who are amongst the lowest paid manual laborers in China drew a lot of sympathy from Chinese netizens. Let's see what they said. Sanitation workers are the exploited bottom rung of society. Their bosses read newspapers and drink tea every day and still get over $16,000 a year all just because the latter are within the system and the former are outside the system. Sanitation workers here only make $71 per month without any additional allowance. Let's put ourselves in their shoes. Sanitation workers are equal human beings who also need to feed and support their families. Why do they only earn so little in return for so much toiling and moiling? How can one live in China with only $165? Isn't it too sketchy? Their end salary is only $165, but why does Social Security take so much away from it? What is it based on? Or is it an intentional pay cut? Our cities and environment are built from scratch by pairs of hands with scars and wounds like these. There is neither lowliness nor nobleness in occupations and careers. Please respect everyone. I have never had the habit of littering. I hope we all start getting rid of the habit ourselves, and don't just say you'll do it. Now let's cross over to our local guest, Stella, for some thoughts. In primary school years, we are told the sanitation workers and the beauticians of our city. However, in the reality, sanitation workers, as their brothers and sisters around the world, have experienced discrimination for decades. The treatment they receive is similar to that of the monetary worker in the Academy Award-winning Japanese film Departures, who is ostracized because of his profession. People look down upon or even despise street cleaners and their work. I've heard that there are several hundred cases of verbal and physical abuse of sanitation workers every year in China. But can you imagine a city without sanitation workers? With all the knowledge we've learned, how long will it take for the Chinese to understand that every occupation is equal as long as it contributes to the society? I hope it won't take too long.